All right, yeah, man, Sketchpad, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're going to be talking about the uh, T-O-B-T underscore show. Um, we're going to react to something that a black woman was saying about Chicago. And we'll be back. You know what it is, Sketchpad. Yeah, man, we back. Look, man, links on the screen. If you want to donate, cash at PayPal is in the description. You know what it is. Hey, man, YouTube is demonetized, but we're going to keep this thing going. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified that the sketch pad is in your area. You know what I'm saying? But look, we're going to watch this clip. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to react to it and all that good stuff. So let's go. Going up to the, uh, but yeah, uh, this is one of those situations that I know a lot of women, especially single women, deal with, and they look for kind of like some clarity, y'all. What you got? Okay, I'm gonna pitch react on both things. Go ahead. On the migrant situation and on a letter. Yep. First thing on a letter, we don't know whether he's a manager. She never stated whether he was a manager or whether he just worked at okay. the establishment. And I always say with anybody, you can't go and say, oh, he was a nice guy, but he worked at Taco Bell, so I left him. First of all, be the requirements of your requirements. You knew what he was doing before you started dating him. Mm. So that was on you. So now don't just say, oh, I broke up with him because now, oh, my God, he worked at Taco mm. Bell. You knew he worked at Taco Bell when you started dating him unless he started working at Taco Bell after you started dating him. <laughs> so well, okay. it's kind of on you. So you can't be mad because you started dating somebody that worked at Taco Bell. Yeah, that's you. So enough of that. <laughs> so now about the migrant situation. Okay. So with the migrant situation, that is on Congress. They don't release money, so then that doesn't protect the border. So that's the first thing. Hmm. We are a sanctuary city. We started being a sanctuary city back in 1980, which of course should have been changed a long time ago. So they bringing them in. You wonder where the money coming from? They taking it. The COVID fund that was here, yep. that money. Yep. You talking about the, all the uh, all the pro housing programs? So when people pay rent, all the rental programs, that money, all the programs that we have in the city of Chicago, mm -hmm. they are bankrupting us. They are taking from all of these programs that we have, mm -hmm. and they are taking the money and they are funding. The migrants, yeah. our taxpayers, we've already paid $32 million out of our taxes to house and take care of the migrants yeah. thus far. Now, we already know the only ones who qualify to become citizens in asylum here from the starts of the, they were here after August, they don't even qualify. Period. But here we're going to be taking care of them for five to seven years while there's paperwork floating on people's desk. And why? Send them home. Send them back. But Venezuela already said, oh, we're not taking Take them back. Mm -hmm. I so a, now... I got a question for mm -hmm. you. Um, who did you vote for? <laughs> First of all... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I have no problem with Tom. Wait, I have no problem with saying that okay. I did Good. vote for Biden because oh, I was not man. voting. Okay. I did. Okay, but let's... here, is it, here on, it is. Hold on, hold on. Wait, okay, that wait. was a question. Okay. Now you answered it, right? Okay. The... This this um, migrant influx that we're dealing with right mm -hmm. now, this is your fault. Uh -oh. Okay, well let me say, hold up, hold up, hold up. First of all, it is. First of all, let me say this: it is not my fault. It is Congress' fault who does not release the money. That has no. First of all, with any government official, with anybody oh know God. how the government oh run, yeah. your president can only do so oh much. God. He does not release money. Yeah. So let's get that far. When you know how the government run, your president don't release no money. Not Trump or nobody else. That goes through Congress. If Congress don't release no funds, nothing gets done. But you were still kind of part of the problem. Because he fought to right. put them people and, in And so was Trump, because Trump yeah. said Mexico was going to build that wall, and what Mexico tell Trump? We not building absolutely nothing. And guess what got done? Absolutely nothing. And guess how they getting over here? Crawling over mountains, just walking in with their backpacks through Mexico and everywhere else. And guess what we can do? Nothing, because there is no border patrol. Hmm. Because they are not allowing any pay, any money for border officials. So and that is the problem. Year? I'm going independent. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Okay, flap it up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget the hey, man, look. We back. Y'all going to hate me for this. I'm sorry. I got to say it. 
I don't care about what happens to people in Chicago when it comes to the migrant crisis. I don't give a fuck. You know why I don't give a fuck? Because y'all asked for this shit. Y'all voted this goofy motherfucker in there. And this is exactly what you motherfuckers get. So don't talk to me about Trump. Don't talk to me about the wall. Don't talk to me about none of that. Y'all voted for it. It's your fault. So when she say, oh, this wasn't my fault. Yes, it was. This is your fault. And all the people that voted for that goofy motherfucker. It's your fault. You can't get around it. It's your fucking fault. This is exactly why y'all going through what y'all going through. Everybody knows that Trump tried to build a wall. And I love how black people, especially black women, I love how y'all always try to use that argument as something that is good for your argument. When you literally know that this guy Trump was trying to build a wall. I remember when y'all was calling him racist for it, xenophobic for it. Y'all was saying all this stuff about him trying to build a wall. And now because he said he's going to get Mexico to build a wall, he's not the president no more. They literally stopped construction on the wall. Biden and Kamala Harris was telling people to come here. But I, I love how y'all always protecting y'all daddy, y'all daddy Biden. Big Daddy Biden. That's what I'm going to start calling him for all y'all black women out here and all y'all people who love protecting this dude, right? Y'all know, you, you can y'all can never just sit back and just say, Biden was wrong. Why can't y'all just say that nigga was wrong? Biden was wrong. Why do y'all Why do y'all have this big thing with saying Biden was wrong? He was wrong. He was wrong. He did so much bullshit. He Watch so many things, but for some reason, y'all always trying to find a way to try to blame Trump for it. This dude literally, literally built a wall and was building the wall. Biden came in and shut it down from the day he came in office. And y'all was okay with it. Why can't y'all used to say this all the time? I remember y'all saying this. Why does Trump, Trump so racist? He trying to stop Muslims from coming here. He's trying to stop Mexicans from coming here. He's trying to stop people. He's racist. He said that they're all, they're all killers and terrorists. He says that they're all rapists. Remember y'all was saying this? Now, all of a sudden now, you don't want to, you don't want to admit that Trump was right when it came to the wall. Oh, we've been a sanctuary city since the eighties. That ain't nothing to be proud of. You voting for the same people. Y'all voting for the same people that's doing y'all dirty. Y'all still doing it. That's why I don't like women like her when it comes to politics. I don't know her personally, but I don't like women like this because they don't want to just accept that they daddy is a fuck up. He's an abuser. He's a deadbeat dad. Daddy Biden is a deadbeat dad. <laughs> Your daddy Biden is a deadbeat. He doesn't take care of anything. Hey, go ahead, man. Hey, um, you know, you're right. You're right. You know, uh, like me personally, I ain't vote because I was so frustrated with uh, the whole thing from the jump. I just said, man, I'm just going to keep my two cents out of it and just watch what happens. And uh, evidently, that's what happened. Um, y'all the cause of the problem. Whenever y'all went like, how do I say it? The thing about voting is that you know, when you vote, you know, you expect your voice to be heard. You expect uh, everybody under the sun who has some sort of involvement in the ballot 
and whatever, whatever, to understand your gripes and make an adjustment to the presidency. At times, you don't get your way. At times, you do get your way. It all depends. In this whole case right here, you know, Biden came into office and everything that was Trump, he just, you know, took away. You know, y'all y'all agree to the people coming into the country. Now y'all complaining. You know, like, don't complain. Don't complain. You know what I mean? This is what y'all asked for, you know? So, you know, like, maybe next time y'all listen and do something about it. Me personally, I'm going to be honest, I don't care. I'm just like you. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, my family uh, my family are foreigners anyway, so. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Your family crossed the border anyway. Yeah, so what the <laughs> Y'all don't even care, yo. I'm dead I'm dead ass. I don't care, man. Like at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Most of our families are from different countries anyway, you know what I mean? We might have been born here, but you know, our descendants or whatever are from different places on <laughs> on earth anyway. So what, you know? But all jokes aside, like, man, this is what y'all asked for. You know what I mean? You got people in NYC complaining too. You know, uh, somebody was telling me um, how they were in New York and they were driving up the road and they seen all these people uh, out in front of the embassy in uh, tents, laying out with backpacks, you know, uh, sleeping bags, blankets and all that. They ask yo, what's going on? What is this all about? It's like, oh, you didn't hear? These people are all from Mexico. And these people got all the way to New York. They all the way in New York. You know how far that is? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. My mom, my mom used to tell me this. This is the land of milk and honey. That's what that's what my mom always used to say. This is the land of milk and honey. And obviously it is, because you see all these people coming in out of out the blue. And it's not just them, it's other immigrants too. You know what I'm saying? So the influx, the the attention might be on Mexico itself, but there's other countries that have that have come down here. You know what I mean? Some more than others. So Oh, look, man. Yeah. All I'm going to say is I don't give a fuck what happens in the sanctuary cities. I don't care because y'all voted for these goofy motherfuckers. You can't be mad. <laughs> y'all voted. Y'all going to continue to vote for these goofy motherfuckers. Y'all been doing it. Y'all never going to change. Y'all always going to vote for these goofy motherfuckers because y'all so emotional. That's why. So y'all always going to have these problems. It's never going to change. Only thing they're going to do is pretend clean. They're going to move something dirty from one end of the table to the other end of the table. They're not going to clean it off. That's exactly what they're going to do. And y'all going to fall for it every time. They're going to move it to this side. They move it to that side. Then the, the, next, the next four years, they're going to move it from that side to that side. Back to the other side. Because that's what y'all do. Most of y'all are so afraid to do something different. Y'all afraid to leave the Democratic Party. Let's just be clear here good percentage of y'all are afraid to leave the democratic party because y'all afraid to be on your own y'all got big daddy up in the house big 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 daddy biden deadbeat dad biden that's what i'm gonna <laughs> call him for y'all he's the deadbeat dad that y'all always wanted y'all love y'all deadbeat dad y'all love him y'all hug him every day y'all follow his rules y'all do whatever he acts deadbeat dad biden y'all big daddy but hey man, we out of here, man. Cash pad, you know what it is. <laughs> fools, y'all a bunch of fools.